Hello, this is the Provoke Brawn, and you've decided you want to install a contact frame on your system, and I'm going to show you how, along with some hints and tips on things to do along the way that you might find useful, because there are some important things to bear in mind when installing a contact frame, especially in a system that you've already been using. Now, a contact frame is an interesting replacement and a really easy upgrade to your system, potentially, because it essentially replaces this bracketing around the CPU, which, as standard, has been shown to cause some bend in the CPU over time. That mounting bracket puts pressure on the rectangular CPU, which can then bend it, which means that over time, it doesn't get as smooth a contact with your CPU cooler, which can result in hotter temperatures from your CPU. So it's a worthy upgrade to do to your system, whether straight away or indeed if you've been running a system already. So the idea of this video is what I'm gonna show you is how to upgrade it if you've already been running your PC for a while. So let's say you built your PC and then you found your temperatures have got a bit too hot. You've been running it for a while and now you want to try adding a contact frame to your system. First of all, what we're gonna to need to do is strip it down. Now, you don't necessarily need to do this, but I wanna show you why you do potentially in a second, so stick with me for that. But what I'd recommend is actually taking your motherboard completely out of the system, unless you can easily access the back of the motherboard and the back plate around it. And what we also want to do is think about cleaning up the thermal paste, getting some new thermal paste while you're there, especially if you've been running it for a while, because that can help improve performance as well. So I'll leave links in the description to my recommendations on that. I've got some Noctua wipes to clean up the CPU because as you can see, it's a little bit messy from the extraction process. Some of the thermal paste from the cooler got on the CPU around the edges and such as well. So it's worth cleaning up both the CPU block and the CPU itself and just making sure that's nice and neat. Now for reference, I'm using a Thermalrite contact frame here. Obviously there are others available. But what we're going to do is go through the process of installing that and showing you some of the things to bear in mind. You can see I've taken the CPU out, so what we're essentially doing is putting it back to standard. But you do need to take some care with this, obviously, as well, because you don't want to bend the pins on the motherboard, and that's very important. And I'll show you that in a second. So this is a thermal right contact frame, and in the box you do get some thermal paste, which you could use, although I prefer thermal grizzly. You also get a little tool and the bracket itself. Now that tool is used to basically replace the standard screw. So what you need to do is follow this instruction to remove the screws from around the standard bracket on the CPU. You can see we've taken the CPU out, you open the levers up, and then you unscrew the four screws at the top and bottom of the CPU, and then carefully remove the brackets. You need to take real care not to drop anything into there, including the screws, because if you drop them into the pins on the motherboard, you could potentially damage that, which then could ruin your system. So be very careful during this process. And talking of careful, you're now going to see why I recommend removing your motherboard from your system, because around the CPU, you can see See those four screw holes we just removed there's actually a bracket at the back so to demo this here's another motherboard which you'll see now i recommend laying the motherboard on a flat surface while doing this because as you see if we flip it over that back plate has come off entirely so there's nothing to secure it to the back apart from the screws that run through that bracketing which now means that's loose if you've done this while it's installed in your case that could potentially have fallen down somewhere in the back it could get lost it could damage some of the bits on the back of the motherboard, it, you need to make sure that's held in place while doing it. So it's much easier to do this on a flat surface than it is to try and manage it while it's in your case. Now put the CPU back into the slot on the motherboard, and carefully lowering it down and installing that. And then take the screws out of the standard bracket that you've just unscrewed from there, because we're going to need to reuse those for the installation of the contact frame. So just hold on to those. So there's no screws included with this contact frame. You have to reuse the standard ones that come with the motherboard. And then we're going to seat the contact frame down over the top of the CPU, obviously carefully and gently, lining it up with that bracket on the rear so that we can put the screws through those holes and then basically just replace the standard setup there. But you'll see how it nicely sits over the top of the CPU. And this is actually beneficial because there's no gaps around there either. So no thermal paste is going to end up splurging over into the edges and making a mess. So this is a good way of keeping things neat, but also applies pressure in all the right places to theoretically keep this cooler over time and to just improve the longevity of your system and the cooling and enhance everything there. So then just re-screwing it down 
and tighten it back up. And then you need to put the system back together. You'll notice that I've cleaned up the CPU pump as well. So the all-in-one cooler has been cleaned up. So there's no thermal paste on there. So everything's clean in that way. And then we'll need to obviously plug everything back in. Hopefully you remember how to do that. If you don't, I've got a detailed wiring guide for PC building. Link down in the description. There's a playlist. I will show you all the different things to plug back in, where to connect them up and everything else. And then I'm going to use some Thermal Grizzly Cry Nought Thermal Paste. You could use the Thermal Paste that's included or any other that you've already got, but this is my personal preference. And I also like to spread it out, make sure there's a thin coverage across the entirety of the CPU to give good cooling there. And then we just need to go about reinstalling the pump back over the top and then connect everything back up. So as you can see, the installation process is pretty straightforward. You just need to take care not to damage the pins on the motherboard and also just watch out for that back plate falling off the rear. The swapping of the thermal paste and cleaning that up should also help with the cooling. And then you should hopefully see some difference in there. Obviously doing benchmarks before and after installation will help you see if it has noticeable difference there. But really this is a long-term benefit. So if you put it in your system and you're running it for quite some time, you should find that it will just help with the longevity of that. And that's not something that's easy to track, but it should prevent your CPU from bending and therefore hopefully result in a nicer system, better performance and overall awesomeness. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, check out the playlist in the description down below. I'll link to some other tips and tricks for PC building and for improving the performance of your system. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks very much for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.